right, what's going on boys and girls? So this particular video is going to be something a little different. This is looking at three distributions that I think don't get enough headline play. So we're going to take a little bit of time and talk about these. So first up, we have one called Blank on Linux. Now this is a UNESCO sponsored distro um, that I, I believe is the United Nations Science and Education something. Uh, I can't remember the full it. Uh, name for it but this is an Indonesian distribution as well um, that's its primary focus it uses a desktop called Manaquari which is a custom shell it's GTK based and uh, HTML5 but the thing that makes this different is it's Debian based now the, the release has been over it's going on over a year old now so do know that um but overall like this is what the desktop looks like like the desktop is very clean the installer is very clean uh this is probably one of the simplest installers i've seen and pros and cons of that but this is a, comes in about a 1.8 gig download it's not huge it's not small either but definitely one to check out it, resources wise it's it, it knows its market and I know what it's doing um it, it's done to spread development on Linux and open source software and stuff. Um, and that's really its key goal for the Indonesian market. And that's really, really cool. And let's look at what we got next. We got K-A-O-S, Chaos, however you want to pronounce it. The thing I like about Chaos, other than the thing I dislike, which is the bright white theme, which is disgusting um, on first boot, is the fact that it's focused. It's QT. It's 64-bit only. It, it does, there's no, and it is independent as hell. It uses Pac-Man, so it's got an AUR type thing. Um, it is very different, though, as far as, like, it, they know what they are developing around and for, and they do not care if it does not have things like Steam or Skype or, you know, take your pick. I can really appreciate that. To me, that it, you have a goal, you have a direction for your project. Like, it, like this is what we're doing. This is what we're looking at, and this is how we're doing it. You don't like it? Go play elsewhere. I can respect that. That to me is something that not a lot enough projects do. They have like these broad generalization of goals. I like projects like this that are just like, this is what we're doing. Screw off if you don't like it mad props to that um they do have a little a few things different with kd the uh, i think it's called a ca uh, captain if i'm not mistaken um like is a theme icon selector on first boot for uh chaos and it's a it's a really nice utility i wish more more distros um included it they do something a little different um the the bar the the panel whatever you want to call it is actually on the right side to start with a full screen launcher or not with a full screen launcher with uh with the menus and stuff that is really weird but easily changeable it, it usually when it on these otter distros i don't tend to change a whole lot i just like to try them as they were intended um, but so yeah, it's definitely one to try out if you're a really big KD slash Plasma QT person because that's what these guys focus on. And next up, we have Makulu Linux. Um, this distro kind of tries a lot of different things, and a lot like I don't really know how to explain this one. <laughs> um, they have one called Windows, which tries to mimic like the Windows 10 interface a, a bit um you have flash which is that one's a little hard to differentiate between that and core um core is the one i choose because they have this inter uh, interesting design in what they call dual dual dock mode so it's yeah, as you can tell on the bottom you have your dock but if you have like a touch screen and stuff that's where like the gnome pie looking thing comes in and to me it's just an interesting take on stuff that's around it doesn't get a lot of play um but 
it's definitely one to check out. It's uh, based on Debian testing, um, and I believe there's some Ubuntu vibe in it too. I'm not exactly sure, but definitely worth checking out. So these are just a, a few quick distro things that I wanted to say, hey, check these out. What are some of the more oddball distros that you guys like? Well, you guys know what to do. Yeah, all the info for Patreon, Indie Gala, all that crap is down below. Rate it, subscribe. Peace out.